First, if you can, you should set aside what cash is needed for emergency situations. For example, six to 12 months of living expenses in case of unemployment, and that is depending on your age and social security benefits. But then put the rest to work in the form of investments. Even a small percentage of available income invested regularly accumulates, thanks to the power of compounding. As the earnings from an investment, for example, the interest or the capital gains are reinvested, the amount of capital can grow significantly beyond the initial invested amount. Cash in a savings account, especially with still low savings rates, is not a productive investment strategy. To set up your investment strategy, you have to consider your current starting point in terms of your age and the amount of money you can invest. You also need to understand how much risk you can handle so that you can still sleep at night, even if there are big swings in the financial markets. Finally, you should also be clear on what kind of annual average return you wish from such a portfolio. An investment portfolio should be well diversified with different asset classes and have a long-term horizon so that you can stay invested instead of worrying about temporary fluctuations in the market. It is important that you understand why you are investing in a company, in an asset class, sector or region and avoid those investments that you do not understand. That way, you will feel comfortable even in periods of volatility and you will remain engaged with your investments. Unless the market goes through a big setback in which the market declines a lot and then presents a good investment opportunity, investments should ideally be spread over many periods throughout the year so that you're not exposed to one single point of entry. And it is important to stay invested instead of making withdrawals from core investments. Timing the market is notoriously difficult and most investors benefit more from spending time in the market than from timing the market. Women often ask me this question. While it is never too late to start investing, it is important to have a realistic plan that reflects your age and risk profile. I would strongly caution a new investor against taking on too much risk now because she has not invested for the past 10 years. This will not work. You have to take your current starting point and assess your current risk tolerance in order to set up a plan for your future investments. Different surveys and investment experiences show that in their role as investors, women tend to invest with a more long-term focus and are less likely to engage in frequent trading activity, hold a larger proportion of their wealth in the form of real estate and other real assets, and are particularly interested in environmental, social and governance criteria and impact investing as well. We spoke about how important it is to focus on long-term investing and staying invested so that women are not overly concerned about short-term fluctuations in the market. Since women do tend to be more patient, this can be a real attribute when it comes to investing. Women do tend to hold less of their wealth in riskier assets such as equities as they favor other asset classes like fixed income over fears of losing money. People invest to make money, but when they invest in assets with low or no returns, they're missing out on an opportunity to build their wealth and also are losing time to deploy their money effectively. Many women investors are lacking confidence. It's not that they don't have the knowledge or understanding to invest. Changing that mindset and understanding how investing can help women move from feeling overwhelmed by money to feeling more in control is important for their future financial success. We would encourage you to think of your investment portfolio as your personal ad gallery, for example, where you have carefully chosen and placed each investment. On the other hand, personalizing the investment options for women, creating a client journey that covers their needs and their worries will improve women's relation to investing.